sidelines. Gotta make my own highlights. It's time to heat up for the fight of my life. Show them what I got, cause you know that it's my time. Brought till I fall, boy. Give it my all, boy. Got me feeling like I can fight them all, boy. The time has come, the bell is rung. No weekends, yeah, you know that I'm a star. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, in Street Fighter VI World Tour. It is Owl versus the World. And we just came back from our little trip to Italy where we met the amazing Marisa. We wound up learning her style. I think I'm going to be using her style until we run into a character known as JP, who is very, very interesting. Anyhow, let's talk to Leonardo and find out what's going on. Got the clasp? Yes, we did. The one who made it is a talented up and coming designer. But I hear she doesn't sell to people she doesn't like. Huh. Okay. I was worried the whole thing would fall through, but hey. Looks like he pulled it off without a hitch. Right, so I just gotta attach that here and... Huh. There we go. Nice. And as promised, I won't take your money for it. I'm just happy to have had the experience of making it. Hey, that's what's up. You had yourself a good time too, yeah? Feel free to swing by if you need my help again. A rare brand item knockoff. Still filming, the quality is remarkable. Whoever crafted it wove their initials into the lining. Quite the playful touch. Nice, bro. We do have a couple more fight tickets so we could be seeing Marisa in the future. We are going to have to to level ourselves up the exact same way that we kind of worked with Luke. So, hey, I'm digging it. Honestly, it's not too difficult to get to run into her. And as long as we meet some people, we'll be all right. So what is wild about this is it's everything I have actually, honestly, what's up? No, 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 let's not go over there. Let's do the mission. We're not gonna talk to Bobby. Let's do the mission. Let's wait until night and then we'll go run to the mad gang, mad gear gang girl. I forget her name, is, what her name is, but hey, it's all right. Let's just try to stop those punks from the Mad Gear Gang from beating us up, yeah? All right. Let's head down this way. What's freaking me out is how many gangs there are. I have no idea what the TV gang is about, but we'll find out. Can we avoid these guys? Don't tell me I'm gonna get punched in the back. Well, it was better than getting punched in the butt. All right. Honestly, I love Marisa. She's such a powerhouse. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, what? You, you, all you're going to do is throw a knife at me, bro? <laughs> yeah, Marisa is simple. And I like that. All right, we leveled up and we got a couple style points. Oh, where'd you guys come from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what, what button is it? What button is it? God dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody's gotta be on the same side. Let's go. All right, so, Gladius. Real good. It's a real good ability. And while I'm at it, let's just go ahead and destroy their barrel. Just for the, oh! Okay, okay, guys, come on, come on, come on. Chill, 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 chill. Nobody punched me in the butt, nobody punched me in the butt. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, hey! Oh, we made it. Okay, Mad Gear Alyssa. Well, look who it is. I assume you're showing your sorry face around. Here means you got the bag back. Very nice, I gotta admit. I'm almost impressed, right. So you can get lost now. What? No romance arc? Okay, it's fine, Alyssa. Ha! Ah, as if you as if you get off that easy chump? Okay. What's up? Oh! We got a fighter? Alright, let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, that was not Yo, she's got like multiples? Ha ha ha! And punch. That was nice. Ah, uh, hold up. Uh. 
Y you gonna take this again? Oh! There we go. Anybody else? Whoa! Alright, there we go. He was open. And we took out the other guy, too. So. I'm gonna have to get a little used to the, the whole white, like, aura, but it's really good. Get lost. Like the Mad Gear gang does. Seriously. Every time. <laughs> okay. When we said we wanted the bag. Yeah. We made what was inside it. Oh. How was I supposed to know? Are you actually this stupid? Uh, whoa. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is one of the leaders of the Mad Gear gang. Thrasher. We got ourselves a freaking comedian here. Huh? Oh, bro. Nice, smart ass. We need to talk. Get up here. Uh, uh, um. Oh, okay. So, Final Fight is a series of games set in the Street Fighter universe. Um, there's a character by the name of Hagger who actually uses a very- Oh! Come on! What am I explaining the lore, really? Okay. There we go. Let's go. So- in the lore, essentially, the Mad Gear Gang's running rampant in Metro City. And Hagger, this gentleman who had his daughter kidnapped by the Mad Gear Gang, I think it was Thrasher, to actually, you know, hit the lore, uh, wound up joining the cause. Originally, when she was kidnapped, it was Cody, who is currently the mayor of Metro City, at least when it came to Street Fighter V and an American ninja named Guy who tag-teamed the Mad Gear Gang and got everybody back. There have been a couple other games set in the universe, or at least in, in the city with the same idea. It's an old-school beat-em-up. So what do you want? Bosch was the guy who screwed over our deal, yeah? You're not an accomplice of his, are you? Nah. If you were, I bet you'd be hiding away together. He's right. Listen up. No need to be so stiff. I'm just playing, planning to buy you out, that's all. I ain't pulling your leg either. You fought my goons and came out on you top. I mean. And me, I like winners. Same with Bosch. I hate the game he's playing, but I gotta admit, the guy's a player. I want guys like that on my side, plain and simple. Anyway, now that we've gotten to know each other, how about you do a little favor for me, okay? What we doing, boss? Oh, it's nothing serious. Just need you to look into something for me during the day. Uh-huh. No joke. I swear. Don't give me that look. Just help me out a little bit. Nothing bad'll happen to you, promise. Help me out. What do you need to look into? Just talk to some of my goons nearby and they'll fill you in. Sound good? Deal. Nothing says inner city gang like this. Just, just a barrel with some boards in it on fire. So let's Mad Gear Magnum. Uh, can I get something good from you? No. Okay. What's up? Thrasher so wants you to help with something. Uh, I think I know what's up. Have you heard that there's going to be a martial arts tournament held here in town? Yo, that's dope. There's been lots of threats getting called in, demanding the whole thing be put on ice. Why? I bet he wants you to go talk to the fuzz about it. Ain't no chance in hell any cop would be willing to hear people like us out. That's for damn sure. Okay. Huh? Hey, so I, I hear you're gonna go talk to the Popo for us at Thrasher's request. They're usually pretty riled up at night, so you'd best pay him a visit during the day. Okay. Ah. Our parent company will probably go after the money Bosch stole before 
mm, parent company? And they're gonna hire the best of the best to make sure it happens. Now you didn't hear this from me, but uh, our parent company? The remnants of Shadowloo. Oh my goodness. The huge criminal syndicate that got wiped out. So who's in charge? So at the end of Street Fighter V, Shadowloo kind of um, was broken apart. Vega left. Uh, Fong kind of was left to hold on to the pieces. Balrog betrayed Shadowloo and he's working with Gil and all those guys. So I wonder who's in charge now. Yeah. That scum sucking Mayor Hagger. Yep, Mayor Hagger. Policies practically sent us up the old creek without a paddle. We didn't have a choice. We had to join forces with the bigger organization. These guys called Shadowloo. Ever heard of them? Yeah. All right. Well, now we know what's up. Can we jump down from here? And fight level 18 sketchy sketches. Nah, I'm good. Let's go this way. We'll just go down all nice like. Alright. Uh, did we hit this barrel? Yeah, let's hit those barrels. Eh, uh, one more. Okay, there we go. So, there's a supposed to be a martial arts tournament here. The question is... Who's throwing it? I also like the fact that the Magyars aren't really, like, attacking us anymore. Okay, let's just see if we can get... Oh! Where, where did you come from? Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's go. Let's be serious. Maurice is such a brawler. Love this lady. At least I love her fighting style. Why are there so many people out here running after us like this? Look, we took care of... No, you didn't find me. I'm going home. Day. Okay. Alright. We're back. We're safe. We're good. Part of me does want to get... Uh, just just a little swag. We'll cut it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Hear me out, ladies and gentlemen. The fit... The fit is suspect. We just gotta beat up some more people for some dye. Maybe get... You know, some black jeans to go into the black boots. Maybe a black jacket to go with the black boots. Just a little bit of something, but I, I dig this. We can make it work. We can make it work. But let's go talk to the cops and find out what's exactly going on. Also, can we beat you up for any black dye? Blue dye and white dye, not sufficient. What is it? You wondering about the stadium? They're building this thing called the Mike Hagger Memorial Stadium in the West End of town. There's a plan to celebrate its opening by hosting a massive martial arts tournament, but we get threats every now and again telling us to cancel it or else. Ah, that's not good. Uh, if I beat you up, defeat the opponent with an active buff, hit five unique attacks. Hmm. Do we fight him? Yeah, let's do it. I need to knock him down. One. Two. Come on. Come. Three. He throws knives? What cop throws knives? Okay, so... We didn't get to die. Sorry about that, officer. Let's just... Let's just talk to officer. Die? 
Let's talk to her first. Uh-huh. Officer Ronnie Ocampo. There's threats coming in about the stadium. I'll have you know that we're investigating them very seriously. A lot of them seem like regular old pranks, but we also get some that seem really real. For instance, there was a flyer calling for the tournament's cancellation about around the Masters Foundation building to the east. Alright, let's fight her and we'll have a quick conversation. So, what happened is, from what I understand, right? I gotta knock her down three times, I think. Just, just come on. Get, get these, get these riding boots. Come on. There we go. There we go. So, Ken Masters in Street Fighter lore, yeah, yes, that that Ken is rich, and by rich I mean rich. He owns, um, earlier in the game, we saw this big thing, the Masters Foundation, like, building. Yeah, Ken's got some money. And essentially, someone reached out to Ken, asking for aid, you, you know, hey, throw some money to assist Angry Accounting, and then Dash Eats, now let's go this way, to help out, you know, a country that's not doing too well. So apparently, those funds were used for... Very, very bad activities. We're talking violence, we're talking deaths, we're, we're talking about a lot of stuff. And essentially, Ken was thought to be the mastermind behind it. That he was giving money to these rebels, these people who were doing terrible things. And turns out he was kind of set up. Ken kind of looks like a bum right now because he's trying to find himself, he's trying to recover from that rock bottom. He doesn't really want to talk to his wife or his son right now. He lost his title as the champion of the United States Martial Arts Association, UFC, whatever they got here. He was the champion. He lost that. He also had to step down from his chair as head of the Masters Foundation. So, yeah, he's looking for some revenge. And I kind of really want to see that arc. Are we going to see violent Ken? I don't know. Warning! Martial Arts Tournament met uh okay it goes ahead there you have the posters torn in places and impossible to read dang yo jacob what's up the poster that was over there i tore it down sorry can't remember what it said but if you're looking for another just like it i think i saw one in skywalk lane if you're curious to find out what it said why not try heading over there okay well thank you but at least you know, we're kind of sort of moving on our way. It's kind of interesting. I've seen some stuff with Guile. Fun fact. Ken is married to Guile's sister. No. Guile married one sister and Ken married the other sister. So that's his brother-in-law. And Guile is trying his best to figure out what's happening. Luke looked into it, and yeah, Ken's innocent, but his whole life got upended. He's going to be... Can I get that? Okay, forget about it. His whole life's upended, and we're going to see what happens. I'm interested. Let's check this out. The martial arts tournament at Mike Hager Memorial Stadium is a front for criminal activity. Oh, man, I'm smelling something fishy. Is this another one of JP's things? So, for those of you who don't know, I don't think I finished the story. JP, a guy who used to work, mm, cook the books for Shadowloo, also was the one who came to Ken with this seemingly legitimate thing and wound up being a front for criminal activity. So, yeah, JP is the one who sent Ken up. If this tournament goes ahead, there will be casualties, you have been warned. Collusion between the government and criminal organizations will not go unnoticed. Metro City Denizens Alliance. Oh, snap. No. We're not going to take the poster down. I'll take it. The poster calling for the tournament's cancellation. Okay. So we're taking these posters down... 
And the poster. Oh, okay, we're going to pass it to Thrasher. Well, considering the fact that the Magyar gang kind of wants this to go off without a hitch. Uh, yeah. I can believe they're kind of behind a little bit of something. So we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to go see our girl. Alright. So, I have this odd feeling that we're going to get into a fight. So, hey, we might as well talk to our martial arts master and find out what we can learn. Uh, details, profile, can I give her a gift? Yes. You have a gift for me? Yeah, let's give her the KO gum. How lovely, I'll make sure to take good care of it. Hey, did, did Marisa like it? Let's just give her one more gift. Oh. You really don't have to do all this, you know. My thanks to you. How lovely, I'll make sure to take good care of it. Okay, hey, Marisa likes us. Let's talk to her for a second. You know, historically, historically, Pankratin is meant to be performed naked. Oh. So, Marisa, hear me out. <laughs> no weapons, no armor, just you and your birthday suit. That wouldn't fly today, so I begrudgingly wear an outfit into battle, but... <laughs> How I'd love to go in there with my fighting spirit bared for all the world to see. Okay. I'm going to teach you one of my moves. Go ahead, unleash it. Ah, uh, the javelin of Marisa. Punch, punch. Okay, bah. Alright, I like that. So there, we can use that. What else she got for us? An arm in the air with a finger extended. Do you know the meaning of this gesture? I want to say I can beat you with one finger, but I surrender? No. Inspiring, but incorrect. Athletes competing in the ancient Pankaratan use this pose to signal their surrender. Strikes to vulnerable organs and biting aside, anything was fair game in Pankratin. There were referees, rules for announcing surrender, but regardless it's said that more than a few fighters lost their lives mid-match. I know all too well how Pankrast of old must have felt. They refused to give up until the very end, and now their blood courses through my veins. Alright, so we, we got a little bit of a bonus. I just want to know a little bit more. Want to go around? I mean, we kind of have to, don't we? Very nice. Hit me with everything you got. Let's do it. I feel like this is just going to become a dating sim. Jesus woman. Okay. That that was a beautiful. Oh my god. All right, how we win this, ladies and gentlemen? Throw. Stomp. Knee. Okay, knee doesn't have armor. Okay, Gladius has armor. Oh, Jesus. Superman? Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. You're using stuff I haven't learned yet. You're using stuff we haven't learned yet, boss. Hey, 
Oh my goodness, I think you might be overexerting yourself a bit. Okay, at least we're improving our relationship. I walk the path of Pankraten. What's Pankraten? Only the oldest martial art in human history. Focused on bringing down the opponent with body alone. If you want to know what strength is all about, Pankraten will get you there faster than anything. Okay. I think she's going to teach us everything that we know right now. Or at least everything that we can learn from her. I, I, I want more stuff with Marisa. Maybe we'll just do that a little later. Let's, uh, yeah, we're keeping the boots on. We picked up, we got the phalanx, we got both of those equipped. We also have flash knuckle, which I completely forgot and haven't used. Vulcan, we're switching out for Maurice's javelin. And what else can we pick up? Increases the number of accessories. Increases max vitality. Greatly increases punch strength, yes. Uh, increases throw strength, let's go. Alright. Back to the US we go. Alright, back in the States and let's see what Thrash is talking about. You look into the tournament thing for me? What? A criminal organization's involved? You're a criminal organization. Shouldn't you know this? Damn it. Oh, come on now. We're talking about a tournament where the Hagger is inviting a bunch of famous fighters. Whether it's us or some other jerks, do you seriously expect me to believe that a criminal org can get involved so easily? Some meddling townsfolk are just trying to get the tournament canned by spreading dumb rumors. If the blame for this somehow gets pinned on us, I'm going to be beyond pissed off. Alright, hey, we got some more red dye. See, thanks, Thrasher. I appreciate that, bro. So, the question now is... Thanks for looking into things for me. Sounds like Bosch still hasn't turned up. Probably turned tail and ran. Now that we've done that, the question is going to be... What's next? Our turf might not be the biggest at the moment, but give us some time and we'll control all of Metro City again. That's what Thrasher's after. Complete and total domination. Okay. This is kind of wild. I guess we're going to go to sleep and see what's happening off on the next day. Maybe, just maybe we'll run to Bosch, or maybe, just maybe. Ah! We got a message from Luke. Had everything go. Bosch get in touch with me earlier. I guess you two got wrapped up in some gang stuff while wandering around the city at night. I get it. You can't wait to toughen up, and that's one way to do it. I was basically a street punk myself as a kid. So far be it for me to lecture you. Just watch yourself, okay? You wonder about Bosch? I think he mentioned something about heading to England? <laughs> Alright. So I guess we're gonna go see Cammy. Okay. Time to go to the UK, ladies and gentlemen. King Street in the UK? Bound for England, let's go. So, what do you think the chances are that we're just going to immediately run into Cannon? And find a bunch of cat stuff to just give her after she becomes our master because... This, is, this has got some dating sim... Oh, it's Bosch. doing here to help you what are you doing here what's wrong with you i said to stay away from me well, i told you i can't play around like you come on bosh what's going on look i got you your card back here you go man no 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 way, they sent jury after him? <laughs> I gotta admit. That is the dopest entrance 
out of any of the Street Fighter characters. Let's go. Yo. You must be Gosh. Yeah. Saw your friends just now, but I don't think they're coming. They ran oh, something no. nasty on the way. <laughs> <laughs> It was full of money? That was it? Oh, snap. Yeah, it's Jury. God, you're an idiot. You thought a gang would let you off. Like, oh, sure, here you go. You've got nowhere to run. Uh, cal calm down, Jury. I'm sure we could talk Ooh, this out. You for real? Is that we're too stupid to know when to quit. <laughs> Stop, kid. You're killing me here. Yo. Both of us? And only one of us is allowed to do the killing. Oh, my God. They did so good with Jury. Oh, snap, man. All right. We got a fight on our hands. We're armoring through, boys. Dang. There we go. She's still up. How is she this tough? Wait, did she just get another bar? Yo. That wasn't cool. I thought we got Jerry for a second. Dang. Look, ma'am. tenderized little boss here real good before bringing him in. I'm just here, ma'am. Like they didn't say anything about leaving his geeky friend alive. Geeky? Hold on. Wait. This jacket is in fashion. It's in style. That's what they said when they sold it to me. Right? Sorry for the trouble. Oh. I really mean it. Yo. It's a drive. The car. Ooh. Get the bag. We're going. All right. Look, jury. <laughs> Start walking. <laughs> hey. They knew what they were doing with Jury. So, I'm not saying that this is going to be a dating sim, but uh, we may or may not be bringing Jury 12 dozen red roses. Would Jury be a red roses person? No, no, black roses. Actually, it's probably something completely dumb. Hit me up in the comments with what gift you think Jory will like the best as our teacher and master. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please tune in to the next thrilling installment in Street Fighter VI's World Tour, Owl vs. The World. Come on, answer the question. Jury or Marisa? The choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen. Well... No, it's mine, and uh, we're going to keep that one to myself. Peace, y'all.